the battery's got on my weighing scales. And rather than buying a new one, I'll just keep blowing that, making it warm so that it works. Cool. Meal prep at 6.15 in the morning. I forgot to put chicken up yesterday, or well, the night before yesterday actually. I'm on the road today. Schoolboy error, I didn't pull the chicken out. I was gonna go and buy packet chicken, but I was like, nah, I can't be eating packet chicken. I need to prep my meals because it's gonna fry my brain. So that's what we're doing at quarter past six. I'm on the road at seven. This is a rush. Also, as well, if you're wondering what the moistness is from, obviously I've been on the bike to my car. You've seen that enough times. I got up at like quarter to five, got that done, copied some stuff off memory cards onto the Mac, and then we were on the road shooting today. The rush people, the rush is very real right now. Clammy as fuck. The effects are shreddable. Clean clothes on and I'm already fucking buzzing. Disgusting. Anyway, today is the 25th of July, 2020. The day the gyms officially reopen in England, not sunny Wales. We're still screwed. Not sure when we're gonna get the green light. However, in my position, I am gonna take full advantage of where I am today. I'm shooting in Sheffield at two o'clock. So I thought I'm gonna leave a little bit earlier at seven o'clock, which is now. And then I'm gonna drive a little bit further than Sheffield to a little place called Rotherham. And I'm gonna train in Ultraflex, 100%. I, it would be rude not to, let's be honest. Liam's coming with me as well. He's taking advantage of it. I'm not sure what he's gonna do when I'm filming later, probably sleep in the car. But it is worth the four hour drive, the three hour sleep in the car, the four hour drive back. The problem I have is that obviously I'm working after I train. So I'm gonna train for like a couple of hours and then the showers are closed. So I'm gonna to have to have a little personal wash down and then change my clothes and then go shoot. But it's gonna be a good day. Gyms are reopened. Let's go. Wagwan. So Cuba changed his meal plan last night. Took his crumpets away from him. Chicken sausage is gone, crumpets gone. So tell the camera what you're eating beer, Jay. It's basically chicken on a stick. <laughs> it's supposed to be two whole eggs and six egg whites. Right. And two turkey bacon. So so why are you eating chicken then, Jay? Because is that on your plan? It's not. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I'm busy. Didn't have the food. That he changed on the plan. Yeah. So. What about, what about hashtag no excuses? There is an excuse. I'm doing what needs to be done. So what, what's, what's a company in that chicken on a stick, Jake? Needed fat. <gasps> How many grams of fat in that grenade bar? Eight. Eight or nine. So basically what you're saying is you've got 50 grams of protein and eight grams of fat. And you're happy with that, are you? I'm not happy with it, but has said to me in the past, if something like this happens, just get get the macros in as close as you can. So that's what we're doing. I could quite easily say, fuck it, but we're doing what we can. Uh, I'm just saying, I prepped all my meals last night. I did. Did your plan change though? <laughs> Tell the people how many fucking calories on a day is on it. <laughs> Four thousand. Tell the people how many I'm on. About two and a half. Two and a half, dead on, yeah. yeah. You're such a fat boy in the off-season then. It dropped dramatically last night, so... I need this and uh, wrap We're in a rush. So it's eating whilst we drive. Chicken and rice, and all things nice. What have we got? Whey, oats, banana. Oh, groovy. So soft. Will you uh, do me a favour? Will you salt my... Uh, Salt my grub for me. Yes, sir. Yes, thanks, sir. Two miles at junction 33. Take the A630 exit to Sheffield C, Rotherham C. Well, to the door. Yeah, we're asked to take an atomic bomb out of the plan, by the way. Um, I've got a long day and I left the prepare. How long till we get to the gym? Uh, nine minutes.
well, we are in Sheffield, which is 20 minutes away from home. Absolutely. Been. Good session. Good session. Good session. So I'm filming at Steel Physique, which is behind you. And right there. Right there. And we're filming probably for like two to three hours. I just want to get as much content from as possible. Let's try as well and I've got a drone, so I might get some drone shots. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in, change, have a little dab down with the in the sink my balls. Gypsy it's wash. Gypsy wash. <laughs> no offence to any gypsy watching. <laughs> and then uh, Traveller wash. Traveller wash. And then uh, yeah, change my post workout, like my food's dropped today. So I've got one less meal, the burgers have gone. I'll get into de into the diet in more depth, probably in the next video. Um, but yeah, my food's dropped quite dramatically. So I'm gonna just kind of blast out the post workout because after that, I've got one more meal, like one more big meal, and then quite a small meal before bed. And obviously I've got like three and a half, four hour drive home as well after this. So I'm just trying to last the meals out as long as possible. So I'm gonna go in there, check it out, change, have a gypsy wash and Travel a wash. Jay's just getting some bits for a promo video for the gym. Working hard, loving, working hard. What's next after this now? Uh, we just, uh, once these guys have shot off, we're going to get shots at the gym. Empty, so we have to finish off. This gym's only been open for a couple of hours. Yeah. It's a week before we have and then we have done it. So, yeah, we haven't really been used. It's proper clean. Fresh to death. Fresh to death. It's good about the session. Yeah. It's decent stuff. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm glad it's starving now. It's the time. You've missed, you've missed your anabolic window now, though, haven't you? Ten past three. I haven't eaten since. Mm. Real. Romeo done? Romeo done. Fuck the start. Fuck the start. Back to, back to sunny Wales now. Four hours now. One by eight. Cutching by half past. Sleeping by nine. Cutching for all the English people means cuddles. Not together though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Home time. It's 20 past 8, so I'm fucked. Was it worth it? Yes. Hell yes, it was. Back in the gym. Back in the gym with the large twins. So I just dropped Liam off. I to pop to Asda's as well to get some food supplies because, as I said, the diet has changed. My last meal is going to be going down shortly. It's now five meals, not six. And the last meal of the day since October has been burgers. Burgers and bagels. I'll fill you in on what my last meal is in a bit. So Liam has signed out, clocked out of the shift. I've got another camera person now. I've got to say camera person, it's just politically correct. It's not cameraman, it's camera wife. Meal five, the final meal of the day. The burgers have gone. We are on. 250 grams of fat free yogurt and 100 grams of fruit. Tell the people how much I love fruit. You don't love fruit. I do not love fruit. I hate fruit. You've probably got the worst fruit in there, though, Jane. Banana. Yeah, you should have had some cut up strawberries or something. I don't like the seedy texture. I don't like the texture of any fruit. I love the flavours. Do not like the texture. I've got the toffee flavoured uh, fat free yogurt. It's like banoffee. I'm going offy, banoffee. That's it. Anyway, like I said, I'll go through the full food breakdown in the next video because. Chances are it's changed by then. All you need to know is yesterday, I thought I was gonna be on 3,200 calories at the beginning of the day. Checked in, food's dropped by 700 calories on a training day. And I'm now on two and a half thousand. So prep has officially begun, I think. But that's it. Thank you for watching. It's been a good day. 
really tired now. Please like, comment, subscribe to the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.